subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and in this video i am going to show you how you can create a blob storage on microsoft azure so let's begin the video first of all you should know what is blob so blob is any file that contains unstructured data like images photos or audios and secondly you should know that which tier of blob storage do you require because microsoft offers different pricing for different blob storage so you're going to open this pricing website link will be in the video description just for your easiness so you're going to scroll down here you have different things available if you go to blob only then you have premium tier hot tier cool tier and archive tier and their pricing will vary so if you're going to access uh, the blob container a lot you're going to add files remove files and all these things so then you should go with the tier according to your need like hot or premium and if you're going to use it for archival then you should go with the archive tier you also have this transaction pricing as well so read them and choose according to your use case now log into your microsoft azure account go to the search bar and type storage and you're going to select storage account you should know that you need to have a storage account and inside that storage account you're going to have one or multiple containers which can have one or multiple blob files so we're going to click on create storage account here first of all select your subscription and then your resource group if you do not have any create a new one and then you need to give your account name and the account name should be in small letters so i'm just going to type youtube test demo account because i'm going to delete it later now it's going to check if it is available or not since this is available then you need to select the region where you're going to deploy your blob storage so in my case east us will work but you can change it according to your need or data policies then you have primary service since we are going to use the blob storage we're going to select azure blob storage or azure data lake storage then again you need to select your performance premium is expensive so i'm going to go with standard then the redundancy so here you can choose different options according to your use case click on next here are different security options so we're going to enable secure for rest api calls we're not going to check the option for enabling anonymous access on individual containers so basically this means that if you enable this option you can allow some containers to have public access it is useful if you're going to host pictures or videos that need to be shared publicly otherwise this should not be checked other than that enable storage account access key should be checked minimum tls version so here you have uh, the scope and so on so we're not going to do anything the main thing is allow cross tenant replication so if you're going to use your blob files between different tenants or different organizations then you're going to enable this option if it is going to be used within one organization then you don't need to enable this and then the access tier again hot is optimized for where you're going to frequently access the data for everyday usage scenarios then we have cool and cold so select this option according to your need and the pricing will also vary on which option you select from here we're going to click on next in network access we have enable public access from all networks meaning that all the machines from the internet can access this blob but if you want to enhance the security you can select this option you can tell the specific ips that can access your blob storage or the virtual network in my case i'm going to select this one click on next next we have data protection basically the soft delete for blobs containers and file shares so you can define the number of days that azure will retain the deleted blob after that it will be permanently deleted you can change it according to your need you can also enable versioning however it will increase your cost then you have change feed and this thing as well so we're just simply going to click on next here we have encryption so i'm going to use microsoft manage keys if you have your own customer manage keys you can basically add them for me this will work blob and files only click on next here just simply give a tag value to your resource for easy management here you can review all the details that you have selected for the storage account once verified click on create here you can see deployment is in progress 
Here you can see our deployment is complete. Click on go to resource. Here it will show you your storage account. Now in order to have a container which can save your blob files, you're going to click on storage browser. We're going to click on blob containers. For now it should show zero as you can see right here. By default, it will make a logs container. You're going to click on the add container button. Name it anything in lowercase letters like YouTube videos test and anonymous access level is you can see private. In advance, we have the encryption settings and all these different things. We're going to click on create. So it's going to create our storage container. I'm going to open it and now inside this container we can upload our files which will basically be considered as blob files. So you can click on this upload button and upload the files directly to this container or you can basically upload the files using code which I will not go in this video. But yeah guys in this way you can create blob storage on Azure. If you guys found this video helpful make sure to like it. If you have any questions write them in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Other than that, thank you for watching and as always, stay safe.